All right, here we go. Thank you for watching. This is uh, Party of Oz channel here. What we're doing today is humanely skinning a fish, honoring your kill. It's a good way to get all the meat off in a boneless fillet. These fish, we've already rinsed them. I've already set up a fish cleaning station. I've already skinned some of them. Uh, you know, I use a traditional way with just a regular fillet knife. If I was skinning my lim a limit of crappie, 37 or more, I'd probably use the electric knife. But I like to do it this way more often than not. It's a good way to get a boneless fillet and you're honoring your fish. It's a good way to honor your fish that you've caught. I got a headlamp on so that way everybody can see, you know, the cuts that I'm making. The fish are still alive here. I've had them in a basket out there on the lake, brought them home, rinsed them off, pulling them out of the bucket. So I need to get a proper Ikajima spike. But the first step is just taking something like this and you just puncture the brain. And you know when you've hit the brain, when the fins fan out, you'll know you hit it. So to find the brain, it's just kind of behind the eyeball there. And you just push in and you see the, the fins all fan out there. That way it's, it's already dead. It's not feeling it flopping around. You just take your fillet knife, your first cut right here behind the dorsal fin and you come at it at kind of an angle to get behind these scales here just like this and notice I'm coming all the way up as high as I can to get the most meat off of this fish I'm gonna make just a tiny relief cut right here I'm gonna make another relief cut right here at the stomach at the bottom of my cut that's gonna help the skin come off better because what we're doing is taking just regular catfish skinning pliers and we're just gonna slowly pull the skin off. It is. It does take a little time to sit here and go through and rip the skin off, but the end product is worth it. Once you get good at it, it don't take near as long and you get a lot of meat off the fish even smaller fish, this is a very good method for smaller fish. You can take and get a lot of meat off of a small fish by doing this. Basically, what we're doing is filleting the meat off the bone. You just get all the skin off like that. Now, the next step, very important right here, is you barely insert the tip of the fillet knife right here along the top edge of the fillet and barely cut bumping along those bones then you take your knife and you're gonna be filling those bones with the tip of your knife using your thumb to lift the fillet up just like that just like that and you can hear the sound of the actual fillet knife bumping those bones so what I'll do is once you get it to this point to where it starts coming off the ribs, you're gonna take about a 45 degree angle, careful not to get into the stomach. You're gonna slide it through, guiding it along the top of the spine there, push all the way through to the other side, and then you're gonna run that fillet knife, feeling those bones flat against that right there. So, so there's, there's its backbone all the meat off of it. Then you're just gonna do the same thing here. Again, just feeling the bones, slowly rolling that fillet up, just like that. Careful not to get your fingers. Now I've come all the way to the top of the rib cage. I'm gonna cut that off. Again, you're gonna rotate your knife about a 45 degree angle or so, and you're gonna cut down. Careful not to get into the stomach and slide it on across. That is a boneless crappie filet. All the meat off of it. No waste from using, a, you know, an electric knife. 
A lot of guys, you get really good with that electric knife. You can get a lot of meat off of it, no matter what. Just depends. Crop, you're starting to spawn. You can tell they're full of eggs. All right, notice that time, all I did was make a cut all the way to the top here, and then I made a little relief cut. I didn't have to make a relief cut this way this time, because all the meat is already off that side. So I'll spin it around here and start the process of ripping the skin off again. You just take, grab it with that pliers, use your wrist to kind of twist and pull, twist and pull, using the edge to grab that skin, pull it off. The bigger the bigger crappie are just a little bit harder. All right, once all that skin's off, so what I'm gonna do now, again, I'm gonna spin it around, make that first cut right here, right along the top, just like that, bumping those bones with your fillet knife. What happens if you do this while the fish is still alive? Well, it flops around. It's a lot, a lot harder to do. This is definitely a more humane way of doing it. And, you know, you're honoring your catch. You know, you're, you're getting all the meat you can off of your food, off of your fish. So, again, 45 degree angle. Careful not to get into the stomach. And, again, you're gliding down, bumping the bones there. Right there, you see all that meat is now off that spine there. Roll up that fillet, that slab part right there, the rib cage, and right there. Once you get to the bottom, you're gonna turn your knife just like that and cut straight down and then out. Just like that. And see if you do happen to get just a little of this stomach part in there, you can just take and it'll cut right off just like that. Look at that. That's a boneless, there is no bones in that filet. And always when you're rinsing it off, you're going to want to check for bones as well. So there it is. There's the crappie. You got all that. I mean, you can see right through there. It's a slow process, but it ensures you get a boneless fillet. You're honoring your fish. So I'm gonna go just a little bit faster this time. So basically, first things first. No spike. commentary? See the fish is still alive. Spike through the head. See his fins all jump up. So you know, you punctured the brain, it's dead. Any other movement from here on is just nerves. So you come under the scales, tilt your knife sideways just a little to get under those scales. Bring it to the top. First time you make one relief cut up here. Then you make a, a one inch relief cut right there. You start the process of ripping skin. Oh, piece yeah, the scales, they do kind of fly around a little bit. Yeah, and some blood did earlier. Blood and scales, and it's, it's definitely not an easy if way. You don't want it to get messy everywhere? You put a tarp yeah. like this. Yeah. Yep, that's a trash bag there. It's easy to do. It's definitely not a fast way to skin fish. Definitely not fast, but you get the most meat. You can get a lot of meat. The longer you do it, the more you practice it, the better you get. Yep. So there's my first cut. Again, lifting with the thumb, feeling that fillet, taking your knife and bumping those bones, just barely bumping them. Once you get that piece right there, the main piece of the fish up, that slab part off the ribs, then you're gonna, again, don't puncture through the guts. 
45 degree angle about. Push all the way through. And now you heard a little squeeze at the end when it punches through. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and then there you start cutting oh, it off. Dude. All right, there's that. You can flip it over. Flip it over. Make the cut here. I just saw the fish went like. Oh, and I almost forgot my relief cut there. Oh. And then start again. Start again. Remember. So if you had, if you had a electric fillet knife, you could probably buzz right through this in no time. And you're gonna miss a lot of meat, possibly, unless you're good at it. I've seen guys get good at it, and they can do it just as good as I can the conventional way with a fillet knife. So, first cut of the fillet right there across, the, just barely put the knife in, rolling it up with your thumb, bumping the bones here with your knife, start rolling it up with your thumb, and we're almost done with this one. Alright, once I roll it up to there, 45 degree angle, careful not to get the stomach. Well, I see a little bit of stuff come out on that side, right there. Yeah, I kind of, they're spawning right now, so they're just about to start laying eggs. They're biting really good there in fall Lake. And by next week, they'll be biting even better. There it is, folks. BTW, we're in Oklahoma. Yeah, there it is. Boneless filet. I got all the meat that I could off of it. And, and you just start the process over again. I've got a dozen fish here. I usually don't skin over a dozen this way because it is slow. If you're by yourself, you know, it, it takes a little time, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, but that's how we do it. The party of vibes. Yep. Honor your kill. Well, hope everybody learned something from that. If they give it a try, it will work. It will. Be patient. Take your time. You know, just you gotta kind of do it by feel. Bye, and, everyone, and yeah. don't forget to really one, wear your seatbelt. Yeah. One last tip, though, when you do rinse your fish. Don't rinse it for too long because you will rinse a lot of the fish flavor away. I don't rinse mine for over probably 15 seconds. Make sure there's no scales on it. And then as I'm cleaning all these fish, I have mine in a tub of ice. So that was one last tip I almost forgot. Yep, last tip. Thanks for watching Party Vibes. We'll have some more videos to come. Random videos.